Hello there. Hello then. But yeah, before we start this off, I want to preface this by saying uh, Louis just came off a monster year last year. And there wasn't any like big build up to this part or anything that I saw. All I saw was FA posted new Louis video tomorrow and new Louis deck tomorrow. Um, and that was like, I don't know, five days ago or something. This is to me, this is just like a bonus video. This isn't like something that there was a bunch of hype around or, or anything that any of us need to get our knickers in a twist about. It's March. A lot of good videos don't come out until later in the year. I don't think that this is supposed to be Louis Lopez's try-hard shit. This is just a nice little morsel for us to enjoy. Or I don't want to say a nice morsel. This is this is a this is a sizable appetizer um, because I don't see Louis Lopez slowing down anytime soon. So, oh yeah, like usual, if you haven't seen the video already watch it yourself uh, before you watch this. I'm sure you all have, but just in case somebody hasn't, do that first. So really quick, I just want to talk about this intro because I actually think it's quite cool. They start off with like this, uh, what I think is a camera on top of a, a CRT television. They're like slowly zooming out. So I think the video is playing on the CRT TV and the camera is zooming out while they're like simultaneously moving the camera away from the television. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. I'm not positive. I think that's what's happening though. And then the video that they're playing on the CRT, it gets to a point where they swap it from the video of the TV to just the actual video file itself. Right there. So you can see how the texture changes. I think it's the same video, but then they just swap. So kind of a pretty fascinating way to start off a video. And then it's like a, it's just a still of the beginning of the line and then the video begins. So just in itself, I think the intro is quite, uh, quite fantastic. I like it quite a lot. So this line, I think this is sort of light work for Louis, um, but I think the theme of this video is he's not really trying to push himself in terms of intensity or difficulty. This is the, I would say the point of this video is more showing off how good he kind of is, like how easily he can navigate a spot like this. Um, because although he doesn't really do anything exceptionally difficult here, he does, use, he does make nice work of, of the space, I think. He hops on, kick flips this little gap on top, then hops back on the other side, and then jumps over the trash can. Louis Lopez has a great heel flip, and then does the back tail big spin. I think it's very nice. It's kind of is Suchu esque to me, I would say. Um, but yeah, really like this line to start it off with. <clears throat> So something similar again here to the last line. Um, I don't see this often. He uses a blunt as a way to get on top of a ledge. So he's mirroring some of what he did in the last line by going on top of the ledge, but also incorporating like a little slide to get on there, which is pretty creative. I think it's cool. So we're just really smooth, well put together lines. 
Um, the theme of this video is hopping on top of ledges and wallies. Wallies being the primary uh, thing that happens in this video. It's just a wally bonanza. So I actually kind of don't really care for the filming of this. I think zooming out, if for my personal preference, I would prefer to be able to see just a little bit more of what's happening. Um, I think sometimes the zooming can get so much that it can be sort of, your brain has to work a little bit harder to understand what obstacle the skater is um, skating on. So I would prefer just a little bit more of a zoom out. But it's very smooth. I mean, he, he rides up those things like they're nothing and then does the backside flip out uh, in pretty much perfect fashion. I like, I like where he's taking his skateboarding. Um, I appreciate these lines. So pretty pretty simple stuff. I, I like the switch Wally, -E, and then he gets up on a certain point to it at the pinnacle where you would expect him to go to regular, but instead he pops off and continues going switch, uh, which is which is cool. I, I I wasn't expecting that. It shows off a lot of control. And then the half cab in, which is you know, it's a crusty spot. More wallies. Another wally front shove out, which is very nice. I like this a lot. Um, he did this again perfectly. This line mirrors a lot what that other line did where I said the filming was too close, where it's wally wally. He heel flips first, but it's wally wally and then, and then trick. So it's a lot of a lot of very similar lines in this. Another Wally. <clears throat> Switch front uh, Wally. This is one of those like contortion twister motions where he does the manual and then he does the back disaster and does the front side 360 out. Doing a front side 360 out of a back lip slide is not easy. And whenever you start off a trick by doing a manual, you're only making those motions at the end uh, more difficult. And no, combos are not always illegal. I think most people that just do combos kind of have quite poor taste in my estimation. At least I think most, most of the time when people do combos, they don't look very good, but I think this one's very nice. It's perfect. So this is kind of what I'm talking about. This this clip, for example, this is a cool spot, but like this, Louis Lopez can do this like maximum like fifth try. Uh, I would guess. I mean, just based off how good he is. So what I'm thinking is a lot of these clips are throwaway for whatever part or parts he's going to have coming out later on in the year. That's what I think is happening. Could be wrong. This spot I always, I feel a little bit awkward about. Um, not awkward about, but I mean, I think Dylan Reader just absolutely murderated this spot so badly, like doing front side heel flip, like a foot above the bar. <laughs> that anybody else skating this, uh, I'm just immediately reminded of how like, <laughs> he absolutely killed that spot. Yeah, it's a nice it's a nice front 180, but yeah, I can't help but think about uh, Dylan Reader when I see this spot. This is okay. This one like sort of took me off guard a little bit. I mean, in a lot of this, 
Louis like changing his momentum a bunch that it seems a little bit off theme to do like this kickflip nose slide and then kind of just like fall off the ledge. Sort of the opposite of many of the other things that he's doing in this video. So I think this is a weaker clip uh, for me, but it's still nice. This is like, this one's definitely just throwaway footage, right? There's nothing really too difficult about this uh, sequence. It's a really nice shove it. Um, I'm a shove it simp 100%. Uh, through and through. So I appreciate this uh, shove it gap thing. Does it perfect as you'd expect. I think everybody saw this on Instagram the day the video dropped. Very sick uh, back blunt to nose blunt. Um, I mean, he does it perfectly. This is what I'm saying about him, this theme of him controlling his momentum, sort of whatever you'd ex you would expect. The easiest way to do this trick would be to do the blunt, the nose blunt, and then to go to, to fakey. But he does the nose blunt in such a way that he's a able to take it to regular and go against what his natural momentum would be asking him to do. And he does it perfectly. I mean, you can't do it much better than this, right? I also really like the editing here. I think this, this like uh, outline effect that they're using and they're darkening and then they're putting the white outline around him uh, in combination with this kind of eerie music. Um, I like all the music in this video. It's very F.A. hockey type um, shit. And I think it works really well. Very cool, very eerie. I like this section a lot. I think this was really strong. I think this is funny because based off the look on his face, I think that he can, like he's aware that there's somebody behind him maybe doing something weird, but he's kind of maybe he's hoping like if i ignore him maybe he'll just go away and i think eventually he gets so close that he has to like look at him <laughs> uh this is like the one of the only tricks he does in the whole thing where he doesn't just roll away perfectly um but yeah Nice front 180. I don't really have an opinion about this clip. Um, it's just, uh, it is a front 180 down a set of stairs and a little like gate thing. Another theme in Louis' parts recently, um, dumpster skating, pretty cool. Does the backsmith on it, it's quite a, the dumpster is quite a ways up there. He kind of falls off of this thing, which is understandable um, because of how high it is. He does kind of a, a lot of his, he, he sort of did something similar earlier on where he did the backsmith and he did the backside flip out where he, he spins the last rotation of his 180 very late. Um, in this case, I don't think that it, it really favors him because it sort of slows him down a lot. So it's not a perfectly done trick, but I mean, it's it's really nice. It's a very cool spot. I don't mind it. Personally, I would have preferred if he had just gone to regular. I think that would have looked cooler if he just did the backsmith and then kept going. Um, but I think doing, maybe he needed to do the back 180 out because it's so tall. So this clip kind of like, the fact that this didn't really shock me when I saw it, I think speaks to how far 
we've come in like wall ride tech in the past couple of years. Evan Smith doing that kick flip into that glass wall a couple of years ago. And then last year, Louie doing the heel flip uh, wall ride in the Converse video that I like he does this perfectly. I, I don't even think this is difficult for him though, to be honest. How easy does he make that look? It's a really nice trick. I like this. I wish I could do this. He sort of like jumps off at, at a point where he used a lot of the wall space that he gained. And instead of like falling off the, off the wall, he's so good at wall rides at this point that he's like, he's really popping off of it nicely. So yeah, I mean, pretty much flawless. This trick, I think you uh, have to have your eyes peeled a little bit to understand what you're looking at. So he's coming at the side. You can't really see the roll up very well because this big, this hubba that he's grinding is in the way or not hubba, but this concrete block that he's grinding is in the way. And you can see it here, right? As the photo's taken, he's contorting his body in such a way where it looks like he would be doing a back over crook but his board is pretty much just doing a nose grind and he's contorting his body in this way, I think, because he's actually avoiding this brick wall that's right here. So he has to like move to the side um, because I think if he just stood on it regularly, his arm or his shoulder would, would hit this wall. So this is kind of like a cool little jump to the side and dodge. I think it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but this, this trick looks pretty difficult. I think that ended up looking really sick. <clears throat> More dumpster action on the handicap ramp. Pops over and then hits the 5-0 on the dumpster on the way down. This is cool street skating, uh, in my opinion. This is a uh, an interesting use of the uh, of the available space. This clip I think is just filler. So this one, um, this is a Jake Johnson ABD, uh, which is kind of funny and they slow mode it. So I'm not sure what the situation regarding this is, whether they knew or they didn't know. But yeah, Jake Johnson already, already did this. So I don't know, it's weird. I feel like a lot of people are very well familiar with Jake Johnson videos. So doing like a Jake Johnson ABD is kind of perplexing to me. And then slow-moing it. I, I don't understand what's happening with this one. This one's kind of cool like more sort of suchu like spot, I, I think with all these little um, drops. She does the blunt uh, flip out on this janky looking bumper, whatever this is called, sorry. It's hard for my brain to gauge how difficult this actually was. Be, again, I, I I think that this would have been better off being filmed like fisheye, maybe like somewhere around here so you can actually see the tops of the areas that he's landing on. Um, you can tell that when you watch when he comes out of it, there's a very short amount of time for him to land until he gets into that first curb thing. So he lands a the kickflip then immediately drops down. So yeah, like I said, I think fisheye would be, I realize there's like no fisheye in this video. This was fisheye, right? I think this is the only fisheye clip in this entire video. I just don't really like the angle that this is from. I think it's hard to see what's going on. This is favoring aesthetics over the actual legibility of what is happening at the spot.
hits the front side flip, and then this uh, nose slide. Oh, here, yeah, here's another fisheye clip, I guess. So two fisheye clips, I think. It's a cool spot. So nice wall ride Ollie. Um, he does it really well. This is kind of, I can't help but feel that this is quite ironic given the uh, Jake Johnson ABD and then wearing the you must remember shit t-shirt. Either it's on purpose, which I don't think that it is, or, or this is just funny. Um, either way, one of the more impressive parts about this trick, I think, is how little space there is to get on um, before you start the wall ride. So yeah, he gets up there really high and has a nice pop off and goes over this gap. It's a nice ender. Um, <clears throat> It's solid. I like the hat. <laughs> so yeah, overall, well put together video part. I like the theme of the Wallies. A lot of mellow clips in here. He does get a little bit gnarly at the end, but not too gnarly. By Louis Lopez standards, I feel like this is like a seven and a half out of 10. He's one of my favorite skaters. I'm holding him to a very high standard. In terms of the filming, there were certain like areas where I didn't really like the filming very much. It got a bit zoom heavy and like at that one spot with all the drops, I would have liked maybe some more conventional filming that allowed us to see the, the spots better, but I understand that like this is an FA video. It's very aesthetically focused and it does that well. It does that very well. This is a nice video. If anything, skateboarding aside, this is a nice, well put together, uh, well edited. I like the music a lot. Um, the whole experience is is very enjoyable and it's, it's immersive as well. So yeah, I, I think this, for me, this is videos of seven and a half. Um, it's early going though. It's we are very early on in the year. So, you know, some people in my live stream were talking about Louis Sodi this, Louis Sodi that. This is not a Sodi contender part. Um, if we're getting Sodi levels, he'd need to do like a shove it out of that wall right at the end. And I think he's perfectly capable of doing it. Um, but this is this is a warm up. This is an appetizer. Um, this is not the peak of Louis Lopez powers right here. Um, but I'm absolutely not complaining. Uh, the more Louis Lopez that I get to see, the better as far as I'm concerned. Like I said, one of my favorite skaters, and I'm just happy that um, I get to see this video. Um, I know I've done a lot of hating lately, but uh, I'm absolutely not hating on this. Uh, so yeah, really enjoyed this video part, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next, the next one.